Hello and welcome to Geeky Bit. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to set up an SD card for the Blue SCSI. This first step is completely optional, but personally I've never had to do this, and that is formatting the micro SD card with the SD format tool. We start by opening up the SD formatting tool, and then we select overwrite format. And then what we will do is make sure we have the right SD card or drive selected. And then we click format. And then that is it. So the next thing you have to figure out is do you want it to be FAT32 or XFAT? Well, you always want it to be XFAT because you can have larger image files up to two terabytes. Not that you could have drives that big, but you can have files up to that size. XFAT is also supposed to be faster as well. Here's how you set up the SD card for EXFAT. So you right click it and you go to format and then you select file system and to go EXFAT and then you click start once you have it select. As you can see here I've copied over a file larger than four gigabytes showing you that the EXFAT format allows you to copy over much larger files. So it's a little different on the Macintosh we actually want to open up the disk utility and click on our SD card and then we click erase and then we can name it and then under format we can actually select whether we want it to be EXFAT or MS-DOS FAT which is FAT32. And then when we're done with all of that we just click erase and then it formats it. So this next part is probably one of the most important parts to ensure that the blue SCSI will read the disk image, and that is the naming format. Here is an example of both good and bad naming for the blue SCSI. If you look at the first image with the check mark next to it, it has HD00 underscore 512 and space Mac hard drive blah blah blah. The second one is not right at all. And the important thing to note, and the reason the first one's good, is because HD is what you always have to have. Then the first number denotes where it is in the SCSI chain. So you can have 0 through 6. The second 0 is for another thing. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it at 0. And then you have an underscore, which you need. And then 512 denotes the sectors. And then you have Mac HD. You should default it to 512, by the way. Now, the other one has an out of bounds SCSI ID, doesn't even have HD, it's MD, uh, and then it is formatted way too long. You can only have 32 characters, and I believe that includes the file extension as well. Another thing people forget is spaces also count as characters. So you follow this tutorial and you're still not able to get your SD card properly formatted for your blue SCSI. Well, let's do some troubleshooting. So if you didn't do the first step that was optional of the SD card formatter, now is the time where it is now mandatory. So go ahead and try that. So you've tried the SD card formatter and that hasn't fixed your issue. Next, you can try another SD card and see if that resolves the issue. And one thing to note is you can see if the SD card you're using has a fake volume size, so in other words, a fake or bogus SD card. But at lower sizes, they're typically not faked as often. So if you want more information or help, you can check out the Discord for Open Retro SCSI. There is a link in the description. I hope this video has gotten you well on your way to getting your blue SCSI fully functional with an SD card. And if you liked it, click the like button. And if you aren't subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos, click that bell button.